right, guys. My name is Tyler, aka Nino Genix, and today, surprise, surprise, we have a brand new Jiren, of course, here in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. On the JP side for now, we are looking at the Dokkan official Twitter account, so shout out to them. I'll have a link to them down below. Here we are with a brand new LR Jiren. Let's go look at the card really fast. Oh, okay. So I won't lie, all this dropped, and then I saw some people talking about some stuff on the timeline. I was like, what are they talking about? And I went and looked at my notifications, and I was like, wait, stuff released? I didn't see it? What? So I just hadn't seen the notification for it yet. All right, here we... Oh. Oh. Really? Okay, so I knew it was an LR Jiren. I didn't know it was an LR full power Jiren. Oh, this changes so much. Wow. Okay, so what they just did is they just admitted that Jiren could not be a headliner unit for an anniversary or a million dollar celebration. Now, I still believe that LRUI, not sign. I know, I know we've had sign as someone who has summoned form twice now on two versions, reacted to a super attack, very aware that that LR exists. But I mean, just straight up UI, what we used to call mastered UI. Everyone always thought it would be a full power Jiren and an LR UI Goku as a headlining, you know, I don't know, six year anniversary. I didn't think it was gonna be for six years, but still our million dollar celebration or something. They just proved that they don't think Jiren can be in headlining unit. Y'all can let me know down below. Did, did you think Jiren could have been a headlining unit for a massive celebration? Obviously Akatsuki and Bandai did not. It's full power. So how long until we get LR UI then? Okay, yeah, this changes a lot. I mean, I kind of questioned it to begin with because I didn't know how hyped Jiren was. I'm sorry. I know if your reactions, you can skip ahead. I just, I'm having this realization. I figure I still, in my brain, I thought it was just being a regular Jiren. It's just a recycled Jiren, but as an LR with some new attacks and all that. It's a full power Jiren, bro. So that means whenever UI drops, it's probably a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta that probably has his sort of final atonement esque attack. Okay, yo. I mean, obviously, I'm theory crafting. Obviously, I don't know that I'm sitting here saying that, and then it'll be another full power Jiren, or they'll do UI with I don't even know what. But one can imagine now. I always assumed it would be the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta as a one off at some point throughout the year, and the actual, you know, I thought that's what they might do just so it matches it would be a full power Jiren and a LR UI together. But now now LR full power Jiren is here out of just random and he's tech he's tech okay all right enough of this I am uh I am very surprised is what I'll say so we're getting a pride troopers unit it's all right actually wait yo this is kind of cool Wait, what? Hold up, that was that was actually pretty slick. What? Hang on. I really want to see that second hang on. I just want to see the second attack again, but might as well just watch this too. Okay, I mean you know. That, that is pretty sick, but this side shot here is pretty impressive. Yeah, that looks dope. They're doing some of that, like, rotoscoping, I think is what someone said. on Because we all thought Cooler, including me, I was like, is, what are they doing with Cooler? Cooler has, like, an almost a 3D animation effect. It's kind of something similar happening here. It's just, like, like, it's just so smooth, man. All right, enough of all that. Why we're all here, right here, is this is this, is this Jiren video that I've paused. Let's go. Hold up. Okay, this 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 is heat. Yo, this is heat. Oh, he has an active. Let's assume because whatever the transformation would he have, really. Dude, 
Bro, that is so clean looking. What? This unit's awesome. <laughs> Am I feeding into the hype? Yes! I don't even care. This unit looks dope. Dude, I yo, listen, I love waiting to see if they've done something awesome with the KO screen, and that KO screen for Jiren is friggin' hot, bro. Yo! Alright, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button. You want to be here for the summons, the gameplay, all that. Go down there, hit that red subscribe button right now. We're actually really close to making it go up another thousand again, so if you guys hit it a few times, maybe we'll make it go up a thousand again. Who knows? Yes! Dude, what are they doing right now? Why? It's like, it's like hype, 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 hype. There's like not been just like a mediocre character in a minute. Granted, some of y'all might be thinking, oh, the chaos screen. Jiren is a mediocre character, but all right. One more time. One more time, and then, then we're good. One more time, and then we're good. I, I, I want to see what this guy can do if I'm being 100% with you. SMU has OST too, right? It's got to be a new OST. I feel like. Probably exactly. I like it. Yo, this unit's awesome. Am I hyped for Jiren? What is this? What is this? I'm hyped for a Jiren. Yo. We gotta pause the KO screen. Dude, that is a sick KO screen. Can you imagine what they're gonna do with you eyes? Oh my gosh, can you imagine what they're gonna do with you eyes? Man, dude. Alright, I I am indeed excited for a full power of Jiren. Let me see what he can do really fast. Okay, so shout out to Talon here. He's got us. So this card is weird. Let's see what he's talking about. I've not seen it yet. Alright, so leader, universe 11, key plus three, stats plus oh, he's 170 lead for well, it's U11, so I guess whatever. Uh, and then of course he also boosts universe of Alba saga which seems pretty standard key plus three stats plus 150 passive or attack and divas plus 200 percent what okay with lr stats that should be pretty stupid am i am i stupid for thinking that when you're attacked key plus one at a max of five when you attack someone in, in the attack down or defense downstage your attacks are super effective if you attack someone who's stunned you auto crit that's pretty dope actually especially since you can team him up with his other self and <laughs> you can team him up with his other self get a mass stun right with the, with the other Jared in the game get a mass stun and say like SBR and then now this guy can auto crit as well so that's pretty cool and I imagine the link set probably matches up pretty well as well he does have an active ability so active seal you can activate once you once if you're attacked five times Oh, okay so once you've been attacked five times you can activate your active ability active ability then one turn your attacking defense is plus 30 percent all enemies attacking defense minus 30 percent and stunned what that's actually pretty good yeah that's actually really good i don't i'm, I'm looking at y'all like is that is it good yeah yeah no that's that's pretty good uh 12 is colossal great, great lower enemy defense 18 is mega colossal and massively lower enemy defense and medium chance to stun so he still has the sun built in clearly strong just seems off for some of the past and the active skill at least on paper again i'm sure he's top 10 at least and super good but the banner will be yeah i i do wonder like i i definitely think i mean they just dropped a dokkan festival multiple dokkan festival banners technically on jp because tanabata so he he's either i mean he's either a standard I mean, he's one of three options, basically. He's either just a standard LR banner. He might be TLP and they couple him with... Maybe? Do they bring back UI already? Maybe? Um, and then... Probably not, though. Or or he's a double rates banner, because we haven't had one of those since... The holidays on JP. Since, basically, the Spirit Bombers or Goku. I, I wouldn't be opposed to him being a double rates banner. That would actually be kind of kind of sick. I don't think he's a Dokkan Festival, but he is... Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way he's Dokkan Fest. There's just no way. Anyways, we'll know in like two days. So 
um he sounds pretty good i mean he sa actually sounds really good uh don't get i mean this i i kind of hyped this up when i read it but don't get too stuck on that because sometimes real talk that you know you hear 200 percent and it's like oh, what but really it'll come down to when we actually use him but the fact that you can use his active after just being attacked five times and it basically engages every bit of his passive is pretty sick uh while also giving him an additional active active bonus of attacking demons plus 30 percent that's pretty huge so uh that sounds pretty dope i'm not gonna worry about the pride troopers i mean most of y'all were here for the reaction anyway but he sounds cool man he he looks really cool i man dude i i don't know but dude uh, <laughs> i you know i was like i assume a is gonna release this week i will be probably pretty excited to summon for a new unit obviously but i'm actually more excited for him than i actually anticipated to be so this is definitely very very interesting anyways with that said as always if you enjoyed the video hit the like button a shout out to talent for the translations and um man dude i, I yeah we'll be summoning for this guy here in just a couple of days because these games just never stop i really thought we'd finally maybe have like a dry period at some point but it probably won't slow down again until like october if we're being totally honest now so yeah anyways guys have a great great day keep on keeping on nanogenic signing off waiting for that ko screen right there to end my video and i'll see you all in the next video i guess